offensive problem, I guess, to use Coach Myers. Uh, when he's ready to throw, uh, we have to be, we have to give him an unobstructed, unobstructed throwing lane. And sometimes, you know, it's just everything doesn't click when it needs to click. And that happens on offense. But as far as receivers, we just got to, you know, be on our landmarks and run crisp routes and, and things like that to make his job a lot easier because sometimes it's not him, sometimes it's not us. Um, but, you know, we both, we all share blame. And when it doesn't work out, that's what people see. And, um, it's just a process. We're three games in, and I feel like we took a good step forward last week. So um, we're just going to try to build on it. You guys talked a lot this offseason about the passing game taking a step forward. And everything. Have you seen the progress you guys saw in the offseason in the game so far this year? Um, I say a lot last week, definitely. Um, we got the ball out in space to our, uh, our fast playmakers in the slot. We blocked well on the edge. And you saw uh, we took a couple of downfield shots, and that opened up because we stretched the defense horizontally. And I feel like uh, along with the tempo, that's what's just going to take our offense to the next level. Um, so we're just basically trying to focus on that this week, compliments of what we ran last week, and just improving as an offense. What do you think of the holding call that uh, from Paris's run that got called back? What do you think of that? Um, you know, some, sometimes the games are called tight, and we have to understand that. But we, we work on stalk drills every single day, hands inside. Uh, but we got to know when the defender's trying to disengage from us, we got to let them go. Um, so that's not going to stop us from being aggressive and trying to put our guy on the ground. But we just got to be conscious of that. It looked like they were 